Welcome back. Today I'm going to perform a small video on how to download and install a big IPA file load balancer 13.1.3.6. Uh, I need to log into the FI, FI.com, and under trials and under big IP virtual edition. Uh, go to this link and after that, come down. So you can able to find a VMware image as well and KVM image and EVNG supports a KVM image so I am interested to download this image click on this and under this F5 big IP you can able to see the uh, big IP 16.x versions 15x versions and 14 13 and so on so I am interested to download in 13.x edition under that can go with the 13.1.1 virtual edition and accept the license and here we go the 13.1.3.6 uh, QCO image this is the edition for uh, KVMG so I have already downloaded it and I kept it in my desktop so you can 13.3.6 uh, edition so I have downloaded okay as I told you that I have already downloaded and kept it in my desktop so there are two files uh, so we can mention this as a vertio.com vertio.qcode2 and vertio.b qcode2 images so we can we can input uh, both the images to the uh, EVNG using WinSAP. I have already uh, logged into the CLI of EVNG, so I will create a first directory. Create the directory, and that I don't have any files here. So click go ahead and go to the WinSAP and refresh it. So here is the big IP 13.1.36 go to this and upload the both the images uh, it will take bit time so meanwhile i will pause this video okay both the images got uploaded to the evng so i will rename the images as per the uh, standards so this one i will mention as uh, rename as what you have to go to and this one is what you have to go to And apply the fix permissions command to this. Okay, I got the both the files. Fix permission. Go to the EVNG GUI and select the node big IP. And here we go with our 13.1.1. 36 and select the RAM accordingly based on your requirement. Okay, then select one connect one management interface to connect the management interface of the big IP. Okay, click the start node. So, meanwhile, I'll pause this video. So, once it's up and running, I will come back. Okay, it's up and running. So login with the default username. The default username of CNI is root and password is default. Okay, so you can see it's up and running. So uh, we need to configure the management interface to access the GUI. So for that enter config. So once you enter the config, so we can able to see the utility setup. Press tab to select OK. Okay. So by default, uh, the DHCP is enabled, so it took the IP address. So we need to configure our own IP address. So as of now, I will go with the no use automatic. No. So I want to be one eighty two one sixty eight. 38.140 press tab to select open 
and it must get 24 let's start to select ok and the current route is do you want to create default route yes ok <laughs> sorry so i want to keep management route as auto 38.2 so in your case it might be different so you can change it accordingly so press tab to select ok system connectivity will now the connectivity yes Okay, just try to connect the IP address 192168. Yes, yeah, I'm getting the SSL warning message. Yeah, so I can able to see the GUI screen. So let's log in with the default username as admin and password is admin. Okay, you can able to see the uh, GV of the FI load balancer. So as of now, I don't have any license and uh, have not yet set up the first identity. In my next video, we'll uh, try to download the trial license and we'll see how to uh, download the trial license and we will install that trial license here. Uh, and I hope this video has been informative for you and I would like to say thank you for watching.